Hi guys, welcome to Judy P's Crafty Journeys. Um, today I am going to show you some vintage finds that I got. And uh, um, it was a lot of fun shopping today with my sis. Went to a couple of uh, these antique stores. So, and I got a couple of things that I was very, very happy about for a minimal amount of money. And uh, so I'm going to share them with you because I'm very excited. And I, if you're like me, I love seeing anything vintage and I like seeing what kind of good deals people got so anyway what I've got and then also too I have happy mail as well from a member uh, of a group I'm in so let me just show you what I got and get my little signage out of the way there um, what I got I'm gonna move everything because I don't want you to see it in advance but uh, first of all I got some uh, vintage cards and um, I really like them a lot. You can tell that they're vintagey by the style of them and how they're made. And this one's got sparklies. So if I go like that, how it twinkles, I love that. And uh, I like the saying of it, um, though times have changed since Grandma's day, some things are here to stay, like these old-fashioned get well wishes sent in the same old sincere way, which I really like that. I think that is very, very nice and genuine. I really like that card. And then I got this cute little girl for a high happy birthday. A special birthday card for you with lots of wishes in it that your special day turns out to be just perfect every minute. And she's got a cute little girl. Kind of reminds me when I was little. I had a little short curly hair. All right. And then this one's really nice too. I like the old... Uh, the lantern and the coffee or teapot and the old uh, uh, grinder mill. So I thought that was cute. A get well message. The best of wishes come your way to hope you'll soon be well because you're missed by everyone more than words could ever tell. Very nice sentiment. And it's got the little plate and the cup on the back of that one. That's cute. I don't know what these other ones had on. That one had flowers. This one had flower. And they were all made in the USA, which I really like. Not that there's anything wrong anywhere other than the United States. I'm just, I live in the United States. So seeing things that say made in the United States is sometimes can be kind of rare. So, but anyway, can't wait to send you this greeting for a happy birthday and many more. And this one I thought was really cute too. Old time mailbox and now thinking about this old time mailbox i don't know if any of you guys ever remember the old time uh mail slots in the doors i mean like the really old old ones my mom and dad have to you had used to have a little mail slot in their door and it was like the metal i mean it was just old i mean the house was my mom and dad's house was over 100 years old when i lived there so i mean if that tells you anything it was the original one it was just really cool for some reason the old time mailbox reminded me of that mail slot for some reason so i thought i'd share that with you um <laughs> this one says hello baby and look how cute that little baby is best wishes to baby and mother and dad for the happiest life any family has had so i really like those very very nice they're a sunshine card is what they say then I got a little golden book, which I like because I love to alter little golden books. And I need to, and I've said before that I'm going to do a video and I need to get my button gear and do it. Um, I've got everything ready to go. I've just had so many projects that I haven't had a chance to get to it. But here real soon I am going to do it because I just, I, I really want to because I love doing these. And I'm actually making quite a few because I intend to uh, try to... Uh, possibly hopefully sell them if i ever get making them all right uh, but anyway this one's really cute when bunny grows up and it is from 1955 it was not this is not one that was republished or at least this specific book itself is not and i thought it was really cute it was for huck whoever huck is but uh i just thought it was really cute i love bunnies and I just thought it was adorable. So I had to have it. They had quite a few of them, but a lot of them were in pretty bad shape. And they weren't any ones that were like anything super special. And so therefore I didn't pick those up. But I did go ahead and I did like this one. And I love this picture of the little bunny on the tractor. 
It's just so cute. But anyway, so I've got that. Oh, look at the little beds. Stacking them up. Okay, so I got that. Then I got another little golden book, and it is old. <laughs> it is so old that it actually has a cover on it, which I have never, ever seen a, a little golden book, at least not one I, I, I never have anyway, with a dust jacket on it, I guess is what you'd want to call it. Um, I just love books. In fact, my first job was at a library, and I it was like fantastic. I was so excited because I just love books. But this one, the only kind of bummer is the covers tore, so I'm going to have to tear it, tear it. <laughs> oh, woo! I'm going to have to tape it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> back together there. But the front wasn't in bad condition. It was just that back of it, which kind of is a bummer. But, you know, it is what it is. And uh, uh, the other book, while it wasn't older, it was $2. I only had to pay a dollar for this one. And I was really happy with that. And this book is actually from 1942, and it's not a reprinted one. It is from 1942, and you can tell some of the pages are browned, browning. They're starting to brown, so I thought that was really cool. So I was excited about that. And... Uh, We'll flip through some of the book. I'll flip through the book, actually, because I love the pictures. They are just so cute. And I love, I love, love, love the italicized words. I love italicized words. I just think they're, it's beautiful. So, we'll flip through this real quick. And they've got some really super cute pictures, you guys, of some really cute little kids. And, uh, just so sweet. I just love kids. It's just a shame they have to grow up and be an adults in this world sometimes. But uh, this is my favorite picture out of the whole book. Is that not so stinking cute? Oh my gosh. I was just like, I was like, look, look, look to my sister. Look how cute they are. I was just so excited about this one. And then the pages get darker and darker as you go. Um, through the to the middle of the book, it's just you know the pages are that old. It's just I love it. In fact, I am not even gonna try to alter and sell this one to anybody. This one I am going to keep for myself because I just like looking through it. I just think this is absolutely a gorgeous book, and I am so lucky and blessed to have found it. That's how I feel about it. That is how I feel about this one. I do. Just books are so fantastic. I oh, just love books. Always have. Love to read. And if I wasn't so addicted to this junk journal and stuff, I'd probably be reading more. But these days, I can't seem to stop crafting. <laughs> but uh, let's see what I can show you what the cover looks like without the uh, dust jacket on it. This other piece that's. I'm going to go ahead and take it off because I'm going to repair it after I get off screen. But uh, this is how this one was made. It's got just the tape over it. And uh, I don't know how many signatures that is. I think it's just one big one big signature. But yeah, it's just got like a, a tape down it. So that's way before the stapling. So I thought that was really super cool. And I think this, I mean, there's like a little wrinkle right there. And an itty bitty tear there. But I mean, look at it. That book is is in awesome condition. I mean, I, it's awesome. So anyway, I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to put my jacket to the side so I don't mess it up. And then my last find of the day, which I thought was really cool as well, is this Zanner or Zaner Blazer. Correlated Handwriting Practice Book, um, copyright 1927 to 1931, Columbus, Ohio, and somebody actually really did use it, and it's just, this is all worn and browned, and these pages are starting to turn colors, and uh, you can see where somebody was doing their practicing, and 
And then as you go through the book, it seems like their handwriting got better and better and better. <laughs> so we got that. And uh, so I thought that was really, really cool. Um, let's see here. Oops, sorry. I happened to plug in my laptop it was getting ready to uh die and it said for best performance plug me in because for all i know i might not be getting the best performance and you guys could be looking at blobs on the screen but uh anyway yeah so i thought it was really cool and i'm thinking about scanning in fact i am i'm going to scan this book in because i think this is really really neat and then back here, they didn't even do it. So I've actually got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six lessons, seven lessons that they didn't actually do in there. So I just think that is really super cool. I was very excited to get that, too. It's by the Complete Handwriting Service. So I think I got some really super good deals today. All right, and now my last thing on my list is I did get, oh, I got this too, but this isn't vintage, but it was in the, the resale shop or the shop I went into, um, but some pretty ribbons, which I thought would go really well with the bunny book for when I alter it up and add some things to it. I thought it would be really pretty colors in there. So I got a really pretty blue, country blue, like a dusty rose and a nice buttery cup yellow so i got those all right now i got happy mail from gina Silak and from uh, the group i'm in and uh, newbies junk journal makers and uh So that's really cool, and uh, I like the front of this. I got to cover the addresses, but see the lady with the arm up, dun dun dun. And then this other thing says, only when he no longer knows what he is doing does the artist does the artist do good things. And then she's got Happy Meal all over it. I was so excited because I actually got this Happy Meal before I left the house, and I think it sounded like I just said Happy Meal. I swear, I cannot say happy mail to save my life. I swear it sounds like happy meal. <laughs> and my sister even said, it always sounds like you're saying happy meal. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this was an altered library card, and I was like so excited to get this. Um, but anyway, this is really cool. How cool is that? Um, this mesh silver mesh and i'm not for sure exactly what it's made out of i guess it was like maybe maybe it came on a ribbon spool i don't know but it's really cool and i love it absolutely love it ah get it love it this is so cool i love this in fact i love this one literally because i actually had one and i actually colored it and cut it out and used it on my altar library card to the person that i sent it to and I'm glad I got one back because I always did love it a lot. So now I've got, I'm going to keep this one and not ever use it for anybody else. So I'm glad I got this. And then I got a little card too, cut another coloring one. It says, friends are a gift from God above and through your life I've seen his love. So that's really cute. Then I've got some gorgeous ribbon. I love this ribbon. Isn't that pretty? I like the uh, the design on it. It's really pretty. So I got a nice, nice, nice big long piece of that. And then, I'm trying not to turn. This looks like it was from, a, I guess, a coffee filter, which I don't have any coffee filters. And so if that's what it was from, though I don't know, it don't, kind of don't look like, well, I guess it may be a cone one. I'm not for sure. But I like it, and I already have ideas that I can do with that. That last, let's see here, and another one. And what else we got in here? Just goodies, goodies, goodies. 
And another envelope. Oh, I can get it out of here. And we've got two little pens. Look how cute those are. Itty bitty pens. Oh. And what else we got? There's something else in there too. Come on out. And it's a bird. Ohio blue tip. It's like a stamp looking. It looks like a stamp. I love it. That's cute. I love I love birds. Birds are birds are cool. I love hearing them chirping outside, especially in the morning when you just wake up and I hear them outside. It's like, oh, it's so beautiful. And here we got some wonderful washi tape. And I'm going to have to look out for my sister because she loves flamingos. She's going to try to steal my flamingos, I know, because she's like, oh, look, it's flamingo washi tape. And I'm like, mm. I guess I could share it with her, right? But anyway, some really cute ones. I like this. I love washi tape. And then... I've got a uh, an envelope here, a pocket, and um, I don't know if this was in it or not, because I had it um, had it in my car. I already pulled it out once. I might have put it back in completely wrong. <laughs> Knowing me, I probably did. Um, here is another bird, ruby throated hummingbird. So that's really pretty. And then look at this. This is an altered library card. And gardener must prepare to work. Isn't that cute? And then the other side, got some little gardeners. And she's got a window right here and she sewed around it. Look, it's a shaker car, guys. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to shake it out a little bit. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. It's got little flowers and hearts and all kinds of stuff and it is just so super cute and then the um, envelope it went into and it's got a little girl eating at the table with fruits and vegetables I mean it's just and look at the paper the paper is just so stinking cute I am in love with that paper I don't know what kind it was but I really so anyway, that is what she gave me. I think that was like that, and then that went in that. that. That's exactly how it was, I think, when I pulled it out. But anyway, I really, really like this. And uh, I really, really appreciate you sending it to me, Jeannie. And uh, let's see, it was the Joan Walsh Anglin Book of Poetry is what it came out of. So I've had a really great day. Happy mail and... Vintage finds, and now my sister's in cooking dinner for me and my family because she's just sweet that way. And I'm going to go grab me a bite to eat, and I thank you guys for watching. And I hope you watch many more videos. And if you like my videos, tell your tell other people you know, and have them come take a look if they like. They can subscribe, um, hit the bell, share, leave me a comment. Um, Anytime you have an, a question about anything I've done, or maybe there's something specific that you want to see, you know, I am more than happy to, if I know how to do it, I'll do it. If I don't know how to do it, I'll figure it out and we'll wing it and we'll do it together. So, I, you know, I like a challenge. So if you have something you'd like to see, I would like to bring that to you. So anyway, you guys, thanks for um, joining me today and don't forget that life is a journey and not a destination and I hope you continue to go on mine with me. All right you guys see you later. Bye peeps.